Do you remember back at the issue meeting after E3? Nope. But do you remember when I was making an argument for Lost Planet 3 being on that list? Yes. You remember how hard I had to fight for that? Yeah. Yeah, it was because I was the only person that had actually seen the game at that point. And I was excited about how you're just one dude in this giant mech traveling around. It would get covered with ice. You'd have to get out, shoot the ice off of it so you could use it again while these things are chasing you and like grapple hook back into it and then fight giant scorpion monsters. There was some cool stuff going on. But it was hard for me to get it on the top 50 list because I was the only person that played it. But you just recently played it. I was never into Lost Planet as a series. The games, I played them both. I feel like not a lot of people were. It was kind of a generic action game, I feel like. With this one, maybe it has something to do with the fact that it's developed by a Western studio. Spark Unlimited. It feels more up my alley. It feels a little bit, I want to say Dead Spacey without the horror, if that makes any sense. It's more atmospheric for sure when you yeah. actually end up going indoors. Because part of the central parts of the game is you go and melt, like thaw these entire facilities that were frozen over and go and harvest this, uh, I think it's called like tea energy or something. And you have to go and explore them. There's like these creatures going and you feel very vulnerable when you're on foot, which is a direct contrast to being in the map. why I wear shoes, but... Yeah, no, because otherwise it'd be cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. following you, Ben. The cinematics in this one feel a little more, I don't know, polished or put together. And I don't think the story is necessarily like, going to be amazing or anything. You play this miner named Jim. They want pretty... him to be like an everyman. Yeah. I, he's I... trying. The reason he's doing this thing is not because he's some hero. It's because he just wants to raise money to get back home. Yeah. He's getting too old for this. So you're going through this cave and you're fighting all these like giant mosquitoes that are like larger than a big dog. And <laughs> what is that fun? I pulled out a shotgun and I was shooting him down. And you kind of make your way through, and then you make it up to the top of the summit. There's a bunch of like icy yeah. mountains. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. great. There's mountains, sprawling vistas. Great. Yeah, there's visas and MasterCards. And this giant scorpion comes over the hill. There's always a yeah. giant scorpion. Yeah, there's always a giant scorpion. And so you do battle with that thing. You call for your rig to come up. So you have to kind of like dodge a spit, and he kind of calls a swarm of giant mosquito, giant dog mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. After like a few rounds of that, your rig shows up, you hop in that. So the coolest parts of Lost Planet 3 I've seen have been that contrast between like you being on foot and you inside your rig. So you're fighting the scorpion and you feel really, really overwhelmed. But finally the rig shows up, oh, you yeah. get in there, and then you're you're hitting him and you can punch him and you can eventually like grab the scorpion in your pincer and then get out of your rig while your rig is holding this giant scorpion yeah. and get on foot around him and then blast the scorpion in his vulnerable. It's like tag teaming the Yeah. Like when you do at a bar with a buddy, you get on all fours and your buddy pushes you over. Yeah, and, yeah. and he the guy's like, whoa. So a lot of what you described kind of sounds similar to what I played at E3, but how did you feel coming out of it? You know what? I felt good. The controls feel pretty solid. The action's fun. The weapons, they're, they're what you would expect from a shooter. Like everything about the experience felt polished and fun. There's maybe a little, a few bugs mm -hmm. that it's they'll still have to clean up, but I mean, the game doesn't come out until next year, so. But as far as you're saying, what your previous thoughts of the Lost Planet when series were? I say bugs, were... Tim. I'm not talking about the giant <laughs> acrid bugs. Yeah, I'm talking about. Say acrid. Acrid. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Acrid. Dog mosquitoes. But you're happy it was on that E3 list, and you're happy I fought for it. <laughs> What are you doing, man? <laughs> it's a solid game. If you like the first two Lost Planets, you probably like this one even more. If you haven't liked the Lost Planet series, maybe give this one out a try yeah. because it looks different. Enough. It's it is it is way different. I'm actually really excited for it. You know, it's also interesting because Spark Unlimited is part of the development team for the new Ninja Gaiden, the Yaibo game. Do you want to run through that whole thing over again? <laughs>